Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here, and welcome to episode 9 of the Minecraft 1.16 Survival Let's Play. And today, we have a pretty special episode, because we will finally be defeating the Ender Dragon. Now, in the last episode, I made a blaze farm to get lots of blaze rods. I have tons of blaze powder now, and also, I was doing some Enderman hunting, which has actually been made a lot easier, because the Enderman spawn rates and some of the new nether biomes are really high, so it's not hard at all to find Endermen. So I actually got myself, let's see, uh, oh, there they are. A, a decent amount of Ender Pearls. I think that should be enough. We have our Blaze Powder in here, and so we're doing all right. We can make Eyes of Ender pretty easily. And to fight the dragon, we're gonna need a few more things. We're gonna need good armor, which thankfully we already have decent armor, good weapons, which we don't have yet, and also slow falling potions so first let's brew these slow falling potions first you're gonna need to make an awkward potion which is just a glass bottle with nether wart it's pretty simple um but then after that you're gonna need a phantom membrane and to get phantoms to spawn it's pretty easy the only thing you have to do is wait a few nights don't sleep so i literally just afk'd in my house for a few hours while i was doing some other work came back there were phantoms outside killed a few and eventually got some phantom membranes so again it's pretty easy also you can use phantom membranes to repair your elytra so it's definitely nice to have but there we go we got slow falling potions but they're only for a minute and 30 seconds so if we grab some redstone here we can extend the life of these potions which is pretty nice now the reason you need slow falling potions is because with the newer ender dragon fight uh <laughs> it's a little bit more difficult because he will periodically just throw you up in the air and it gets pretty intense so what i'm gonna do besides that is i want to craft a bow there we go we have string <laughs> i want to craft a bow we i haven't made any arrows however i've looked in my chest and i have a decent amount of arrows just uh lying around from killing lots of skeletons so let's grab our lapis and also I want to make a new diamond sword for us to enchant because I have one, but uh, only unbreaking and knockback, not that good. So we can do a level 30 enchant and let's check it out. Slow falling potions, four minutes. There we go. Um, and what's nice about slow falling potions is with all of these, it'll last for 16 minutes total. Uh, and I doubt the fight will even last that long. We can probably kill the dragon pretty quickly. So let's just do a few enchants beforehand at the sword. What will we get? Looting. Ooh. Looting three might be good. Oh, Bane of... Are you kidding me? Bane of Arthropods. Okay, we might need to do a better sword enchant. Let's see what we get with this. Oh, there we go. Unbreaking three, power three, and flame. So actually, let's do this. Let's grab some arrows. And then before we do the Ender Dragon fight, let's get ourselves a little bit of XP. I'll make another diamond sword that we can enchant because looting three is good. But I mean, come on, Bane of Arthropods. That's probably my least favorite enchant. That's, you know, I, I don't need that. And also, let's grab all the... Ooh, we have some spectral arrows, too. Don't even know what that does. Um, We have a decent amount here. Let's see. More arrows right there. Okay, okay. We have a lot just scattered about. That should be enough, though. Let me actually... I'm curious. How do I... Let's put these arrows down for a sec. Let's just use the spectral arrows. I'm curious what they do. Oh, they're fight... No, I, I have flame. Well, wait, hold on. I need, I need I need to find something to kill. Maybe I can uh, experiment on a villager really fast. This might not be the most moral thing to do. Um, I'll just hit one of them, but after a while, they'll love me again, so it's not a big deal. Let's go to the villager breeder. I really don't know. I've never experimented with these uh, special arrows. I know it gives it some kind of weird effect, though. Okay, so what is that? Oh, it, okay, it gives us a hitbox. That's actually pretty nice. So then if we go through, we should still... There we go. Yeah, we should still be able to see the villager. That's actually really nice. It leaves a hitbox on it for a while. So I'll bring those arrows with us. We won't really need them for the Ender Dragon fight because I have a feeling the Ender Dragon's so big, we're not going to you know, be able to miss it. But that's still, you know, that's still pretty cool. Didn't know you could do that. And then we have these arrows. So let's make our Eye of Enders and let's also grab a little bit more XP so we can do one more sword enchantment. Let's just make all of these into Eyes of Ender. There we go. So I'm going to hop to the nether really fast, just kill some endermen and some piglins until I can get enough XP until I get to level 30, which should only take a few seconds, uh, and then I'll be right back to enchant the other sword. Alrighty, so here we go. I actually did a mixture of killing endermen and collecting quartz. It was weird though, because only some of the endermen I killed gave me XP, only about half, which, I don't know, I, I found that to be kind of weird. I assumed they would all give me XP, but... 
I'm not sure what's up with that. Anyways, let's go. Hopefully we get a good enchantment this time because that was my last two diamonds and I'm out of diamonds now. So if we don't get a good enchantment with this sword, we're going to be kind of screwed. But thankfully, we did get a pretty good enchantment on the bow. So it should still be able to do a decent amount of damage. If need be, I can try to maybe make up some strength potions or something like that. I'm not a huge potion brewer. I don't know the recipe offhand, but I, I can probably figure it out. Ooh. Knockback. Oh, uh, I don't like knockback. Oh, come on. What is what is that? <laughs> oh my, okay. We're just having horrible luck with enchantments, but it, it's fine, whatever. I'll just keep the knockback on breaking in my chest. I don't really want to use it for now. I guess the looting should be kind of nice. I mean, it'll it's, it's still a diamond sword. It, it'll do a decent amount of damage. So let's do that. Let's turn the rest of our ender pearls into eyes of ender. Okay, and then I'll keep the blaze powder, I guess. Before we head out, though, we should also probably grab a water bucket. Um, just in case we fall and don't have a slow falling potion, I'll grab a crafting table and just a few pieces of wood. I always like to bring wood with me. I don't know why. You never know when it's going to come in handy. Um, and then also, let's grab some blocks so we can build up to the towers in case I can't shoot them down. Just a decent amount of cobblestone. Four stacks. That should definitely be enough. And I think we should pretty much be all right. Let's do this. Let's... Oh, also golden apples i should have a decent amount throughout my chests did i use oh i used a lot of them last episode when i kept uh <laughs> i kept falling in the lava but thankfully we have a lot of gold and gold blocks from finding all of these ruined portals so let's do that three should definitely be fine uh, anything else i'm trying to think i guess i could also repair my boots really fast I mean, I don't really need gold boots for the end, since they're really only really useful for the nether to deter piglins. However, they do still have protection 3 and feather falling 4, and feather falling 4 will come in handy. I mean, again, I have the slow falling potions, so it's not essential, but it'll still be nice. So before we head out, let's take a quick nap, and then we can head to the end. And I'm kind of scared, honestly. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I think we're decently prepared. I mean, our armor's alright. I don't have protection on all of it, but... It's okay, so let's shoot our first Eye of Ender and make our way to the portal. So what direction? It's right in this direction. This is literally straight north. So we just have to keep going north, and hopefully we'll find the portal in no time. Okay, so I'm around the point where my Eye of Enders start going down instead of up. It's just a little bit this way. I went too far that way, and then I came back over here because it started shooting that way. So we should be coming pretty close here. I haven't actually gone through too many Eyes of Ender, thankfully. Um, also, as you may notice, things look a bit different, texture pack is different, I just thought it was appropriate to equip the, uh, oh, trees burning, the J-Wisp texture pack, which is pretty much default, it just makes fire lower, changes leaves to make them look a little better, has a clear UI, changes swords a bit more adept for PvP, now this is mostly made for 1.8, however, it does still work in 1.16, I mostly just equipped it for the clear UI so I could really see what I'm doing when I'm fighting the dragon. So, oh, okay, we gotta go this way. It's it's right, it's probably like right under us. Let's try to grab that eye. I wanna keep as many as I can. Uh, it should be, okay, there we go. So we should be pretty close. What is my music at? Let's turn it up to 50. I usually have it a little bit higher. I don't know why it was so low. All right, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna waste too many here, okay? So this way, okay. When is it gonna start going down? When it starts, oh. There we go. Okay, once it starts going down to the ground, I didn't even hear. Oh, it's over here. Oh, so here's a nice little cave. I don't have torches. However, I knew bringing wood would come in handy. I should have brought torches, though. Let's see if we can find some coal around this cave. Um, gotta be careful. Let's just collect a little bit of coal really fast and go back to where we were. I honestly, let's just head down here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with these people. I'm just gonna run away from all these mobs. Oh, this might not work. Okay, let's head up to the light really fast. See what we can find. Because this is a pretty big cave, so it's probably somewhere around here. We're probably pretty close. So if I go back up to the surface quickly, I just wanna see where exactly we were when it started to go downwards. That way I can find the exact location and I'll just dig straight down I don't I don't mind that much so it was a little bit this way <laughs> okay and then where should I go now oh it was more towards these burning leaves so if I shoot it on top of this tree 
yeah it starts going down like right around here so let's just start digging straight down that was very smart of me now listen listen <laughs> i know people are going to yell at me for digging straight down falling straight into lava here's the thing though it's rare that i fall into lava and even if i do i have fire protection plus i have golden apples so i'm not too scared about burning in the lava so it's okay but i know i get make people anxious so i'll at least do this so i have a little bit of warning before i dig into lava so let's dig down to about like y20 i'd say that's good and once we're down there oh or not okay because we found it okay that works <laughs> i spy there we go we got the achievement all right let's check it out around here um we should be close i also want to explore the stronghold though just to potentially find any chests stuff like that which could be nice um random rooms also the library is also nice uh for bookshelves i mean we have all the bookshelves we need already but I know I'm skipping a lot of this. I know I'm missing a lot too, but it's it's okay. I'm not too concerned. I'll eventually go through and explore all of this. I'm just trying to get a feel. Okay, so this whole area is just doors. No, nothing for me. Let's head back out this way. Um, I just gotta break the doors. I don't care. So let's check down here. We could be close. Another staircase. Is this a lower level or is this just a one room thing? Oh no, this is an entirely... Oh, there's a chest. Ender Pearl Iron Helmet. We'll leave that. We'll take the apple. I usually take apples. I think they're useful. Um, Down here, is there anything? Okay. Ooh. Big ravine. Looks like there's another part. This stronghold. I always get strongholds in ravines. I don't know what's up with that, but it looks cool, though. Let's keep checking around, though. Um, Okay, we have the jails right there. So where is this stronghold? Hmm. This is the staircase. Let's go back up here because there was a few more things. What direction did I go initially? I came from here, did I? Yeah. And then I went through here the first time. Yes, no, maybe. This is so confusing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I went through the staircase. Did I go? Oh, I went over here. Oh my God, I'm getting totally lost. Uh, you know what? I'm going to find the stronghold and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I can't find the stronghold, so I'm wondering if I have to actually go to this second part on the other side actually i don't is this is there more oh, okay is there more stronghold on the other side of this or no i really don't know I, I literally i looked through all of it i realized there was one or two doorways i missed but it seems like i, I feel like i've explored everything that i can explore and i can't tell like, why is there just a button right there does this oh there is a door what the this this, this stronghold has so many weird spawning errors or generation errors i should say i'm not like there's just this random pillar and then there's more up there should we go up there let's go up there and see we can swim up with this water because this stronghold is just it's split in half by this ravine and it's just so crazy i mean i guess that makes this a little more interesting than average oh of course we've been here already okay um should i go up here i haven't looked through there that just looks like it's a cave I go up here more stronghold but i think i've been here because there's yeah there's torches do torches oh some of these torches must spawn naturally maybe that's why i'm confused i assumed there would be no torches but i don't think i've seen some of this area so hold on i guess i didn't place all of these torches i guess some of them spawn just by themselves i had no idea okay so here we have this room here's the library i was talking about i have not been here yet but this is lit up so that's good and then over here okay another chest i'll take the iron my inventory is totally full though so i'm gonna have to figure something out this door there's another library the stronghold is just absolutely ginormous this is insane okay just a small little room so it's not this way i'm gonna light up the little doorways that i know are the wrong direction did i explore over here okay that's just another room Oh my god okay i'm out of torches let's <laughs> let's make a few more throw the rest of the sticks out i'll have to be careful with my torches so then it must be this direction right Is it one of these because we have this door which leads to nothing okay then it's got to be down here or through here this is another library and i don't think libraries have any other rooms do they no i don't understand what I've literally, I was walking around for like 15 minutes off camera. I usually have no trouble finding the room. I usually find it right off the bat, but I can't seem to find it. I wonder if I've seen it already. 
And people in the comments are flipping at me because I honestly have no idea. Up here, is there anything? Nope. I don't know. I'm going to keep digging around though and hopefully I find it soon. Oh, there we go. Finally, I've gone through so many torches and eyes of Ender trying to figure out the exact location. Oh, thankfully I have enough. This was barely filled in and there we go. So I'll leave the silverfish spawner actually. I'll just light it up for now. I don't know. I doubt I'll do anything with it. I'll just, I don't know. It's, it's nice to have. Let's block off this lava just to be safe. Leave this lava because I need to get rid of some of these junk items I just don't need. Honestly, I don't need the iron right now. I don't need the bones, don't need string. I just want my inventory as clear as possible <laughs> so that I can see everything I'm doing. So I don't need these, but I will take a stack of blocks and then we'll have a slow, oh, get out, get out of here. No, we'll have a slow falling potion ready on hand and then our water bucket. Will you get out of here, please? I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying real hard. Okay, thankfully, at least we're in the little box. So here we go, the fight is starting. I won't use a slow falling potion quite yet. Um, let's see, let's put the blocks in our other hand just to have them ready. And then I'll drink the slow falling potion right after we get up to the dragon. I hear lots of endermen, this isn't a good sign. Okay, <sighs> gotta get ready and here we go. Okay, slow falling potion. Of course, we, we're that close to the edge. So I should be able to snipe down the first few of these, not all of them, but a decent amount. There we go. Uh, I want to make sure I'm, yeah, I, I don't, I want to make sure I'm not wasting the spectral arrows just yet, because they might come in handy later in life. I don't, who knows? Uh, ooh, sprint jumping does not work with the slow falling potion. Let's see if we can just snipe down some of these for now. And, ooh, we're getting close. Okay, got that one. I'm not worried about actually trying to damage the dragon by breaking these. I'm just trying to break them. I know I'll be able to do enough damage to the dragon later. Oh, God. Those are strong. Okay. We might have to start building up to some pillars really fast. Let's use our blocks. Have our food handy. Because this one I got a mine too anyways. So let's just... Gotta get ready. I already know it. I feel like he's going to come close and just totally obliterate us. We have three minutes left on slow falling. Gotta keep checking that to make sure. I think with slow falling though, it's nice because I can just jump down from this tower. Okay, good, we, we did some damage. And I don't think I'll take fall damage if I just totally fall off the tower. Okay, seems like we can snipe a decent amount of them just from here. So let's try to stay up here. Oh, that was so close. Okay, there we go. I'm so focused, I feel like my commentary is horrible. I don't know if we'll be able to get that one. Oh, we got it. Okay. I didn't think we'd get that one. It's so far away, I can barely see it. Oh, we're so close. Okay, got that. I'm pretty sure. I didn't hear it, but I think I think we got it. So, slow falling should allow me to just totally fall off. Oh, I can't even hit the dragon because I got to get this one first. Yeah. Okay, fell off. Didn't take any damage. That's good. Oh, God. Endermen are coming after us now. We have to be careful. Luckily, I have the water, though. That, that'll that be pretty nice for fighting the Endermen. Because they just won't touch the water at all. I can create a little uh, space with water around me in case we get a bunch of Endermen just swarming us. But sometimes, actually, the dragon pisses off the Endermen. And it'll actually help us. Oh, gotta jump off. Okay, so. I believe we're, we're pretty set. Let's get this water down really fast so I can eat food. We have a few Endermen coming after us. However, I should be able to just... Oh! No! Oh! I wasn't paying attention to my health! I was trying to fight the dragon! No! Oh, I have to walk like another thousand blocks back. Thankfully, I remembered my coordinates. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> no! Okay, I just barely made it back here with my minimum amount of items, but thankfully I did. I screenshotted the exact coordinates of the stronghold, so I should be pretty set. But now I just need to find where the heck I died. Now, I think there was only one tower left, or did we get the ret? Oh, God, we're going to have to walk through this. Oh, never mind. Okay, it's dispersing. Okay, grab my stuff. Grab it, grab it, grab it. <sighs> this is not fun. Oh, my gosh. This is insane. Okay, hurry. Put on my armor. Okay, there we go. And then get my sword, get all my tools, another slow falling potion ASAP. Okay, there's the dragon. He's not regenerating. I 
think I can damage him from right there. Let's see. Oh, never mind. That's not happening. Oh, thank God we have the slow falling. Now, we do have the water potion, too. So, not water potion. Just a bucket of water. Okay, and they all want to kill me. The dragon shoots me right here. I'm screwed. I just need to take care of them for a second. Dragon, please don't shoot me. Please, let me just kill the Enderman. What sword am I using? Oh, I forgot. My sword absolutely sucks. Okay. That should be all of it, hopefully. Let's eat. Get our golden apples ready. Stop trying to hit me! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, get our last slow falling potion. I might actually need another slow falling potion. This is not good. Let's just try shooting the dragon as much. We just gotta do damage quickly here. We don't have a lot of time. I have like seven minutes to kill this boy, and then my slow falling totally runs out. Okay, let's see if we can get him to come down. I don't have a lot of bread either. Let's get this raw beef I was using in our inventory. That was literally the only other food source I had besides a little bit of bread in a chest. <laughs> oh gosh. I actually haven't used a golden apple yet, so that should be pretty good. Okay, I think we can shoot him while he's falling down, but I think once he's on top of the obsidian, or the bedrock, I don't think... Yeah, we can't hit him with the bow. So we just have to get behind him. What? Where do I hit you? There we go. Now he's gonna fling me in the air, but thankfully we have the slow fall. So we should be alright. Are headshots worth more? I don't know. Okay. Oh, he actually didn't shoot us that far. Okay. Almost halfway. We're making good progress. There we go. Oh, my my bow accuracy is so bad. <laughs> oh, come on. We got this. We can do this. I have faith. We may have died once, but I don't think we'll die again. That was just a dumb dumb part by me because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Some more headshots. This might be it pretty soon. Okay, you know what? Nope. Let's let's eat. I think now we have to hit him from behind. Sometimes you just can't hit them. Well, actually, I'm constantly calling the Ender Dragon a him, but it's actually probably a she considering it has eggs. Alright, let's... I know we have slow falling. Let's just eat a potion. Can we shoot it from the air? No? Okay. I wish I could shoot him with a bow. Which they make us get close. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay, there we go. Found my sweet spot. Okay. Probably one more time after the Ender Dragon falls down. Should be able to totally get rid of it. Let me see if I can get some crits here. Oh, we're close! Oh, we're so close. We almost got it. I'm honestly just excited for the XP we're going to get from killing this because this is going to be amazing. Okay, a few more hits and we should be there. Oh, got it. Oh, come on, like two more. We can do it. Oh, we're so close. This is intense. And my heart's like racing. Oh, yes! We did it! Oh, I got to get screenshots galore for this. These are beautiful screenshot moments. There we go. That should be enough. I always just gotta take the screenshots when I kill the dragon. And there it is, our lovely XP. Now I actually, I don't think I brought anything to get the uh, the egg, but I have I have a solution. I, I think I can use a torch, and that should be able to work fine. And ah, there we go. No more getting XP constantly. So let's just break the egg really fast. And then I think actually if I place a torch underneath the egg, it will do the job, if I'm correct. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the egg. We're all set. Now quickly, before we head out, I do... Oh, I want to head just in that portal really fast and see if there's an end city like right there. If there is one, we can raid it. If not, then I'll just do some end city raiding either on stream or in the next episode. It's kind of hard to do for an episode because sometimes, like honestly, I've searched for end cities for hours at a time and I haven't gotten them, but other times I've searched for maybe like a minute or two and I've found like one or two end cities. So it's really just totally random. I know they're very few and far between, very rare, but I remember last Survival Let's Play, maybe it was for 1.14 actually, I did a live stream that was about five hours long and I was just looking for end cities 
and I didn't find one until the very end of the stream and it was like literally five hours which is insane but you know sometimes you got to do what you got to do for the elytra let's just check it out really fast though anything nearby let's, let's get this render distance up really high it's gonna lag probably for a bit oh maybe if we don't get raped by enderman okay Okay, I'm just, I'm eating the golden apple, I don't care. I need to be careful. Oh yeah, I'm getting a little bit of lag from the super high render distance. Oh, my processor can't handle it. It's okay, we can take down these endermen pretty fast. Maybe if my sword actually did good damage. Come on. Keep coming. There we go. And you should be the last one. There we go. Okay, so now with our super laggy game... Okay, I'm just going to start running around from these Endermen. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing one. Oh, there is one! Okay, I lied. Do I have Ender Pearls? Yes, I do. Let's just Ender Pearl over there. Eventually, if I Ender Pearl far enough, they won't come after me. But there is an End City. Look at that. Now, I think we need an End City with a ship or a little boat, and that little boat is pretty much the place where the elytra is, and I'm not thinking that this one has one, just because I don't see it, but hey, let's check it out, that's actually pretty good, I usually don't get end cities that close, so I mean, this is, you know, this is a good moment, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that, so let's check it out, hopefully it has some good items. Yeah, there we go, I mean, even though this doesn't have a ship, this is a very nice looking end city, Ooh, hopefully that ender pearl, okay, good, I was making sure that was far enough, I thought it was going to land on the edge, so I have to be careful to look down, not look directly at any endermen, but also, I do need to get myself some shulkers, there we go, I don't really care if they hit me, oh no, oh no, okay, well now I care, let's just start shooting him with the bow, okay, well, you know what, Let's just make our way in here. We can grab that shulker box in a second. I just need to get down first. Okay, there we go. So, you. Get out of here. All right, there we go. So, did I get both boxes? Yes, okay, cool. Even if I can make just one shulker box, I'll be fine with that. I mean, that's still pretty nice to have. They're so useful, so it'll definitely help with building because I eventually want to do some build projects away from my main town. Maybe do a... Uh, abandoned mansion whatever they're called a restoration something like that i don't know i haven't quite figured out what i want to entirely do with this world yet but oh my gosh no oh this is so annoying in the room where there's like 20 oh no let me hit you okay let's also not die okay got that one let's just use the levitation to kind of float up here <laughs> Okay, we should be okay now. I know you can hit away those little things, but honestly, it's so hard to hit away all of them. I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, so I actually want them to hit me now because I want to start levitating up here. Okay, got that one. We got to go for this one. Oh, he teleported. Okay, look at him. A little sneaky. Honestly, okay, there's too many. Let's let's just have them float me up to the top and see what drops we can get. Ah, uh, come on. We're close. And there we go. Okay, sweet. Just let me get through here. There we go. Okay, is there anything? Oh, not anything under me. Okay. Thought there'd be at least something in here. I haven't found any chests yet. That's kind of weird. Um... Let's so wait for the levitation to fall off. I'll actually... Okay, they just keep teleporting. Where else can I... I can go over there. Oh, there's that part of the end city too. I didn't go up all the way. And there we go. Okay, I was hoping the levitation would last long enough. There's the chests. Getting some good armor. Even though my inventory's like entirely full. I'll get the horde. I don't need the gold right now. I have enough gold, honestly. So I'm just gonna... Kind of neglect it. I know some people get mad when I don't do that, but I don't get every single ore. But honestly, I don't really need it. Let's check down there. Anything in here? Nope, just another shulker. Okay, got that one. We have three shells so far. I would like to get at least one more. That'd be nice to have. 
Okay, hit you away. No! Oh, no. I actually didn't want it to hit me this time. Let's see if I can ender pearl away from here. Maybe I can actually float up. Okay, there we go. I got those chests already. But let's check out the other part of this. We're down to eating raw beef. It's getting serious. <laughs> let's just ender pearl right there. Sweet. Get this guy. Okay, he's just teleporting, so that's fine. These shulkers can just boost me up. I gotta get at least one more shell. Come on. Let's take care of you. And... There we go. I, I gotta get the shell. Okay. Ooh, ender chest. Okay, well... Don't need that. Sharpness 4. There we go. That's what we need. We need that sharpness 4. Let's just replace our diamond shovel. Leave our old one there. I, I don't care about it. <laughs> Let's make our way up here. Hopefully there's at least one or two more chests. I don't want to waste my golden apple if I don't have to. Three, two, one. Okay. And then let's see if they can hit us again so we can get the levitation. I know there's also a lot of cool blocks. I'm oh, God. Oh, whew. <laughs> I was going to say, I know there's a lot of cool blocks I'm missing out on, like a lot of this purple stuff or uh, the end rods, but I'm not too concerned about getting it right now simply because... I'll come back at a later time once I have slightly better armor and weapons and I am not so scared of dying in here. There we go, take him out. Actually, yeah, this was a little bit of an underwhelming end city. I mean, not any crazy drops or anything like that. And we're at the top, right? I'm just eating the golden apple because I know I'm going to fall. Yep. I mean, yeah, nothing too crazy, but I mean, hey, we still got that chest. Did I get that top chest, actually? I don't know if I did. I remember there only being one. Or can I just not see the other one? Oh, yeah, I went there because I see the broken block. Yeah, but I don't know, kind of underwhelming, but we still got a decent amount of stuff. But anyways, I'm going to head back uh, to my main village now, and we can kind of count over everything we got. All right, so here we are, and we have our items. So let's take a look. We got a sharpness four sword, finally. That's an iron chest plate, not that good. Unbreaking three projectile protection, all right. Got the dragon egg, though, which is an achievement. Some diamond horse armor, a saddle, finally, so we can finally get a horse. And... Four shulker shells, which is, you know, not anything crazy, but it's all right. Let's see if I can hopefully find some wood in all of these chests, even though I'm, I've probably passed by some already. <laughs> and I think it's just a chest with a shulker shell on top and bottom. Yeah, there we go. Got two boxes. Let's dye them some fancy colors. Let's see. What do I have? Can I do a color with you? Pink. Okay. What else? Can I do a red? There we go. Let's do a pink one and a red one. I like dyeing them. I'll have a use for each one. And there we go. We got our shulker boxes. So, hey, I mean, I'm pretty good with that. I think that they'll be pretty useful. But, yeah, that's pretty much all for this episode. Very eventful episode. I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to uh, die a few more times to that ender dragon or not. I'll have to find a place to display this egg. I'll probably create some sort of museum or something in this village. I don't know. I'm just going to put it there for now. <laughs> That's its resting place. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It was really fun making this. And this is Jay Wisp, and I will see you all in the next one.